Mark. This is my first film, um, and I let's see. I think Michael found me, the director. He was a fan of my music, and he came into the club and. One day I got a phone call from the producer, Chris Gentry, and we met at Starbucks, and he had me read a script. And then some time went by, and Michael made the film, uh, Cast in Grey, and uh, I was thrilled. Well, initially Michael had a big plan, which was I was going to do the music for <clears throat> a film, but he was still in the beginning uh, process of, of, of starting the film, so he wanted to use some of the music that I had already written and then he wanted me to write more. The thing is, I told him I wouldn't write what I would call incidental music. Uh, I don't want to do that. So I would have to write songs. So he agreed to that and, um, and so that's where we are today. I, I've written some songs for this film. So whenever it's instrumental, it's, it's working. For this song, it's working. Okay. Neil? Yeah? A little bit of a longer solo. Michael, Michael is uh, doing a trilogy, and it happens to be about the seasonal elements, which I love. I, I love, I often write about seasons, plants, stars, and rain, snow, and things like that. And it turns out that I had already written a song called Snow, and, and the middle of his trilogy is about, actually, a theme running through it is about snow. Do you think of me like snow? School's starting. Then the last part, he actually asked me to write a song about wind, which I thought was going to be impossible. I thought that would be impossible. It, 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 it's such an ephemeral thing. Um, it's all about associations and memories, past, present, future. And in fact, but in fact, it was it was really fun. So I wrote a song called the Wind Song. Something shaking the tree. Well, If I Were Blue seems to have been Michael's uh, inspiration for the movie in some ways. He, he wrote a lot of the script to the song If I Were Blue, which I had written independently of Michael years ago. Um, but it does, uh, it does talk about blue as, as uh, both a color and then, of course, a state of mind. And, and it also says, would that this were that, this is more like black. And the third part of his movie is called More Like Black. It's about black. If I were blue, like David Hoppy's poem. Dive into me and glide under a California sky inside your mouth and nose and eyes. Am I? I think that I'm I'm a big uh, art freak, and Michael's an art freak. And uh, if I were blue, does all about artists, Picasso, Hopper, and the transforming power of art and music and poetry, um, and I think Michael believes strongly in that, and, and so do I, and I think we're both very, very dedicated to art, almost regardless of the consequences or the rewards or the lack of rewards, and uh, I think so we understand each other very well, and, and uh, doing this film is, is uh, was surprisingly easy in that when I write some music for him, I'm not sure, you know, I ask him to give me some direction. It's fine right now as is, just a tad longer. Let's let's just do fade. Forget about solo because solo is very short dialogue. Fade longer so I can finish it nicely when they talk, and that's perfect. 
you get that? It's all the same. Same. It's was good, so okay. shouldn't ruin it. So. And in fact, I write something and I say, "What do you think?" And it's exactly what he wanted. So I think uh, we're a good team that way.